We have here a 2023 Giant Propel Advance SL0 in a size medium, weighing at 6.91 kilos with cages and mounts, and in pounds, 15 pounds, six ounces. Astonishing build. Let's get to the video. Hey, how's it going, everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. And today, like I said to you guys, I finally got my hands on a 2023 Giant Propel top of the line frame they made. This is the new rendition of their old school Propel. To be a fan, I was not a fan. I mean, to be honest with you, I was not a fan of the old school Propel design with the old stem, but this bike right here is absolutely beautiful. This is an all black advanced SL frame set, the top tier frame. The giant logo is like in this like stardust blue, purple, green color. I mean, look at the green on the logo right there. You have the Propel logo right there. They have the new integrated stem, the cable showing inside there, much cleaner. And as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, this bike weighs, as you see right now, 6.91 kilos with bottle cages, with all these spacers, with the uh, integrated seat mass sticking out, with the Garmin mount on here. All you're missing is pedals on there, and that's it. And I want you guys to take this in consideration real quick. I know you guys are probably still, there's still gonna be someone out there saying, this is heavy, yada, yada, yada. This is SRAM Red we're talking about here at 6.91 kilos with nothing cut. This is, you know, we're, we're, the, the one by is actually, I think, a little bit heavier than the two by as well. But this is not Durace. These are not super lightweight climbing wheels. These are Wake 6560. There's 65 millimeter depth wheels on here. These are different tires. These are just wheels I have on here right now. Um, you put on a pair of the, the new Cadex wheels they have out there in the 50s. You put on any kind of 50 millimeter depth wheel or even like a 40 millimeter depth wheel, whatever you want to do, a little bit lighter weight wheel, maybe a TPU tube in there. This bike is 6'5", 6'6 kilos, especially Shimano Durace on there. 6.5 kilos with everything on there. I mean, giant for this bike, this thing came out phenomenal. Just standing over it and giving a little tweak side to side, back and forth, the bike feels stiff. It's super light. The whole frame as is with just the frame, the cages and the, IS, and the ISM uh, and a great seat mass with no fork was like one pound. Like it was stupid light. I mean, the whole bike came out really, really nice. I think giant did a great redesign on the Propel. And that's for a lot of bike manufacturers to take credit or take note of this example. Not so much as the ISM, but very simple looking designs. They took advantage of the, of the deeper head tube on here, like the new UCI rule allows for, for a deeper aggressive aerodynamic. They took advantage of the deeper advantage of the bottom bracket as well. Um, but nothing else crazy on there. Super, super lightweight bike and very nice carbon fiber, it feels like. And the bike came out absolutely gorgeous. They make a complete bike of this bike and they make a complete bike that you can buy in USA uh, in the black and blue color. This one I believe was from Europe. We had a guy who bought it, uh, but it is for sale. The guy is selling it um, and we can build up with whatever components you want. SRAM 4, SRAM Red, uh, Shimano Altegra, Shimano Durace, whatever you guys want to do, we can get this thing built up because the guy does want to sell it um, and we'll make you a deal on there. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video, but I just want to kind of talk about the bike, man. It was crazy. Very, very nice. So. Max, a couple facts about the bike. Max tire width on this bike, the, the widest you can go is a 700 by 30 C, which is more than enough for a lightweight air racing bike. Um, we also have here the integrated seat mask like they always have. Uh, this is going to be a one piece uh, seat post on here. That's a full piece carbon fiber. One, it lightens up the bike by making this whole thing solid. Uh, two, they say it's also more compliant because you don't have separations in there. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of these. I think Peak Torque even talked about these things kind of uh, coming loose or, or moving over time but you do have that as well and then they do have the new integrated sorry about that yes the new rendition of the actual beautiful stem they have on here a nice chunky sprinter looking stem the cables are hidden up underneath here they do have a d-shaped uh steer on here as well so the cables sit in front of the fork um so they're very easy to operate the, the spaces are breakaways so that way you can go ahead and lower the stem if you needed to they do make also a giant own stem on or a handlebar, but I did not have that in stock. I could only get the stem for there uh, from the other guy who bought this thing. The cages did come stock with the bike, uh, but they were a full carbon fiber uh, bottle cages on here and here. And they're actually tested with these on the bike in the wind tunnel to make them as aerodynamic as possible. So you do get those included with the bike. Now, the whole bike, we're gonna do our full walk around. So starting off with the cockpit. We have on here the Shimano Pro Vibe handlebar in a 42 centimeter C. The cables are ran internally through the bar. And then on these stems, they don't go underneath. They do go underneath, but they need to go 
uh, through the bar at this point right here. They don't have breakaway holes right here. So as you guys can see on this bottom. So if you guys are looking to buy a giant Propel, make sure you get a handlebar that has a cutout where it goes through the stem because that's what needs to happen here. So you got a Shimano Pro Vibe where the cables do go through here, the hydraulic cables. And then you can see right here, we have this little breakaway spot for the cables and housing go down into the frame. We do get included Garmin mount as well for the stem that came with it. Very, I love that stem. I mean, it's very classic. It reminds me of the Zip SL Sprint stem that I had on my bike back in the day. Nice chunky carbon fiber stem. Uh, I believe a hundred millimeter stem on there. We did the reverse wrap on the SuperCAS black Kush tape. And then for the shifter levers we have on here, SRAM 12 speed, two by 12, I'm sorry, one by 12, axis wireless shifting, 12 gears in the rear, one in the front. Again, I mean, you could bring up something crazy light with this bike for a modern day disc brake bike. For the wheels on here, we have on here Princeton Wake 6560s. We did this because we figured this is going to be their most aero bike they have. So we want to put an aero wheel set on there. They come with equipped with a tune hub uh, made in Germany. They have a really nice sound to the Freya body on there, which you guys can hear at the end of the video. For the tires, they are a mix match tire. This is an S-Works Turbo uh, Rapid Air Tire, a 700 by 26C, tubeless ready. And then for the rotors, they are going to be a 160 millimeter Shimano Durace uh, brand new rotor. Reason for that, again, we just have these wheels laying around to put on there. We do have brand new wheels to put on there if we wanted to, so keep that in mind. Tire clearance, like I mentioned before, is 700 by 30 C. And then you can see the nice clear lines in here. You have the giant logo on the front. You have another giant logo going down the down tube right there. This bottom, this bike is a press fit bottom bracket. It is a BB86 press fit bottom bracket. The Propels and the TCRs are still press fit, but as long as you make the hole uh, with great tolerances, you should have no issues. And as long as it's installed right, it's pressed properly and has the right uh, grease, retaining compound, whatever the company calls to do it with the bottom bracket you're good to go there. And like I said, I've been noticing more and more companies not have issues with press fit bottom brackets, including Scott, uh, Giant, Windspace. Uh, it seems like these manufacturers are catching on to make sure that that is a, a thing they take note of and make sure that is handled from the distributor. So I'm getting less and less people complaining about creaking noises in their bikes. We do have a Propel logo right here, which changes from purple to green. And then this is, very, this is where they cut weight right here. It's very, very thin on the top tube, expands out to a thicker. We also do have the deep dive on the head tube right here. Nice, thick, D-shaped uh, aerofoil frames going down to the bottom. And then very reinforced bottom bracket. This is going to improve uh, the lateral flex or the lateral movement back and forth. A lot of carbon fiber there is going to help with that. So when you're putting it on power, the bike is not swaying back and forth. You're putting it on power, the bike's going to take off and it's going to be better for you. Looks like I left some grease on there. Uh, for the crank, we have a SRAM Red crank arm, 172.5 crank arm. It is a carbon fiber crank with a one by 50 tooth chain ring with a cork power meter on there. You do have a SRAM Red flat top chain with a 1026 SRAM Red cassette. This bike is equipped to run a front derailleur if you wanted to, but if you did not, as you can see, you can kind of remove those two bolts right there and you have a nice um, uh, clean look on the bike. You have a front derailleur hole right there as well. This is a size medium. It is approved by UCI or UCI. And then, like I said, you can see here the seat post that goes all the way up with the ISM. The saddle I put on there is just going to be an S-Works power saddle just for the meantime. Whoever wants to buy it can chain up the saddle, but it's carbon fiber rails, carbon fiber body. I figured it kind of matched the high-end look. For the derailleur on here, it is a SRAM Red 12-speed axis derailleur with its own battery. So you just pop that thing off and it charges by itself. For the rear wheel, it's exactly the same as the front. It's a Princeton Awake 6560. It's going to have the Tune Hub, which I'll give you a little sneak peek on here. Very nice sounding hub on there. And then for the rear rotor as well, it's still a 160 millimeter um, Durace rotor, just to match the SRAM red, because we're gonna put SRAM red on there, which is nice, but you do have that option. You do have the through axles on the rear, the through axle on the front, but man, very, very cool bike. Absolutely love it. My first time seeing a Giant Propel in stock. To be honest with you, I have not seen a Giant Propel in the United States uh, anywhere near me. I don't know anyone riding one, I don't know if anyone has one. I've seen other YouTube channels get them. I know they're pretty easy to get in Europe. Um, that's where this guy bought this one from. So he bought it, he brought it by. I'm very fortunate to go ahead and do it. I try to find bikes in person for you guys. You guys get real world weights and have an idea and just in case you're looking to buy it. But so far, me being a mechanic, working on bikes all the time, this is a great bike. It looks absolutely beautiful. I do like design. So anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. All right, here comes the Freya Bias Santos for his tune hub.
Beautiful. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next one.